In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish your Copilot, which is built using Copilot Studio into a custom website. Now, as we all know that we can build a Copilot and then we can test it within the testing interface. Now, if you want to actually test it on a live system, then you can very well publish that bot into a custom website. Now, how this thing works is you will be presented with a code and you can take that code and put it in your website. Now, the website can be in any shape or form, like you might have a website hosted in WordPress or a website hosted in Amazon or Azure or a website built using, say, .NET technology or ASP.NET or PHP or any other technology. But, you know, at the end of the day, your website will be in the form of an HTML code, right? So what this does is once you publish your website, uh, once you publish your Copilot, to a custom website channel uh, it will give you an iframe code okay so you need to just take the iframe code and then embed within your website html now there are multiple ways now you get an option to copy the code you get an option to share in an email and you get that single sign-on embed code chat canvas option available as well now this is how the screen will look like so you will need to navigate to channel Click on custom website and then from there here you will be presented with a html code now if you see the code over here uh, this code needs to be copied and then put it into your website now it all depends on how you want to paste this code uh, now you need not uh, paste the code as it is okay uh, because in your website code there might all already be an html or a body tag so make sure that you copy the code correctly so and then you don't accidentally break your website's html right so i'm going to demonstrate that so let me x out of it and then i'll show you it in action so let's pick up any copilot so let me pick up this copilot so there is a copilot called a cp04 tennis management center okay now this copilot uh, let me first test this copilot because this just uh, this copilot was built uh, with just a standard template uh, so what i've done is like there is no specific topic in it i've just created one custom topic uh, and let me uh, check for a pan card details and then it will ask you for information so that means i'll just say that okay this copilot works okay now before you even uh, publish this to a specific channel what you need to do you need to publish this copilot now i'm publishing this copilot okay now this copilot is published now then the next step what you need to do is you need to pick up a channel of your choice now the channel of our choice in this example would be a website and the website is a published public website so let this uh, copilot uh, first get published and then what we will do we will try to uh, take the information and then put it in some website. Now, as you see over here in the screen, you can close this window because Copilot will keep on publishing in the backend. So we are good with it. But before we publish, I just want to show you a couple of options. Now, as you see over here in the top, you have an option for channels, okay? Now from a channel perspective, as you see over here, you can only publish to Teams. Custom website is disabled. Now, why it is disabled? Because the error message or the warning message which is shown over here, it clearly says that because you choose Teams authentication, only a Teams channel is available. To use other channels, change your authentication to go authentication settings. So we can go to authentication settings from here, or we can go click on this button settings, go to security, and then click on authentication. Now, in authentication, if you select Enter ID authentication in Teams and Power App, you will not be able to publish in a public website. Either it has to be authenticated manually or it has to be no authentication. Okay. Now, in our case, what we'll do, we will just click on no authentication. So if I click on no authentication and if I click on save, then it will give me a message and it will tell me that changes to authentication settings affect the copilot behavior and access to channel uh, authentication. No authentication means there is no authentication and then it will be available globally. So I'm okay with it. I'll click on save. Now, once you click on save, uh, the authentication settings will get applied for that specific bot. Okay, now 
let's do one thing let's x out of the settings and then now go to channels now we are in channels as you see over here now other options have lighted up earlier there were only teams option which was available now if you see we've got a wide array of uh, options to publish now one of the option which we want to publish is uh, not a demo website okay but a custom website so we need to focus on custom website now both are different components over here uh, so custom website is different and demo website is different demo website is a website which is provided by microsoft custom website means you bring your own website now if i click on custom website as you see over here it has given me this code okay now a couple of things to make a note of now this is a pure html code okay what you need to do you need to copy this code okay and then put it in your website so take for example if you do not have a website and now you want to play around with it how will you play around with it okay so if you have a website what you can do you can take this code you can embed this code within your uh, html of that home page or index page or wherever you want that copilot to appear but in our case, we do not have a website and still we want to play with a public website. So what we will do, we will kind of host a public website within our desktop itself, right? So for that, I need to make uh, use of Notepad, okay? So I have this Notepad with me and then I'm going to write a simple HTML, right? So I'll just say HTML slash HTML and I have a head uh, tag and then I'll close this head tag and I have a body tag so this is my basically I'll just call it as this is Girish website and I'll just close the body so let's assume that this is my website uh, with the page in it so I'll just say file save as and I'll put it in desktop and I'll call it as Girish dot html okay so in double quotes okay because this notepad it will save as a txt file i don't want that to happen i'll click at girish.html now if i go to the desktop i'll see this girish.html and if i double click it then it will show me this website this is girish website so let's assume this is my website okay now if i want to embed this code the option which i have from copilot is that i need to copy this okay now let me copy this entire thing now, if you see here, if you already have a website in place, all the other tags are already there, right? So if you copy the HTML and body, it will be duplicate, okay? So what you need to focus on is just the iframe component. So you just pick up the iframe component and check where this iframe is getting closed, okay? Now, this is what I want, okay? Rest all, we do not want. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just put a break tag and then I'll put this iframe code, okay? Now, this iframe code is in the body and we have put this iframe code in the body, okay? And let me remove this particular part, okay? So this is how you should properly integrate the code, okay? And you just save this. Now, once I save this, I'll just go to this page and I'll click on refresh. Now, the moment I click on refresh, it is giving me this uh, error, you know? Like sometimes it, it will take a while to load, uh, but then if you click, uh, refresh couple of time it will start loading your copilot in your website now it is slowly loading this copilot and then uh, within like say one or two minute you should be able to see the copilot installed now as you see over here you see the copilot which is available over here in this website okay and it has loaded correctly but it is it is showing us that sorry something unexpected happened we are looking into it and then not supported channel okay it is integrated authentication but not supported in channel so if you encounter such issue what you need to do you need to again go to copilot and then you click on publish okay click on publish let it publish and then you just need to refresh your website again now once you do that uh, it will take couple of time for this uh, error to go uh, because it's still getting published and it says integrated authentication not supported in this channel so if i go into the scope palette and i go and refresh this
In fact, click on settings, go to security, go to the authentication and check it's no authentication. And let's check the web channel security as well. The secured access is disabled. So I think we should be good with our changes. So I'll just click on publish again, click on publish. And I'll copy this URL, okay? And I will put it in that same tab now, okay? And I'll just press enter. Now, if you see here, this website is now loaded correctly. Okay. Now, if you see what has happened is uh, it was in a different tab over here. And if I refresh this tab, now this is a different context. Okay. Now I have not logged into this particular application. Okay. Now this is like kind of no authentication. Now it took a while for that code to appear, right? Now here, as you see, it's a different browser. There's no authentication. I'm still able to access, I'm still able to chat with the, uh, the bot. So let me ask a couple of questions uh, and it has properly given me the response based on the topic, right? So I can safely say that it, it works. It need not be authenticated because we have selected the no authentication option and we have published this as an independent website. So in this browser, it is uh, showing me that same interface. So if I type pan card, then it will give me, ask me for some information and then I need to type in the uh, information back, right? So this is how you basically use a uh, copilot to publish into a website. Now we did not have, we did not had a website, a live website. So what we did is we created an HTML file within our desktop itself and we have accessed that website in two different tabs. One tab where we, we were already authenticated and in another tab we were not authenticated. Now it worked both ways because the authentication has no place in when you publish into a public website because for your bot you are not using any kind of auth mechanism to uh, get the user authenticated. So this is kind of like an anonymous access and anyone can access the information. So that's it folks, this is how you basically use a uh, website, uh, a public website publish uh, for your Copilot application. Thanks for watching.